Hey, what is going on guys? It's Tharsha and today I'm back with some Bloons TD battles. So since the last time I played when I played defense mode, I have been practicing assault mode and I was losing like every match until I came across this absolutely brilliant strategy. And with this strategy, I've basically won every game I've played since. So let's get right into it and hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please do drop a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on those post notifications and come join my Discord server below or support me on Patreon. Okay, hanging around. Okay, cool. Got a map. I do have to say the only map I've ever had a problem on with the strategy was the one where the balloons came from two directions. That did mess me up a bit, but besides that, I've been winning everything. So you use uh, the Magician, Super Monkey, the whatever, the hut thing, and you can just get a bonus. Okay. I don't really use the bonus much, but in case I need to, then I can have it there. And the powers I use is tower power, track powers, and eco, though I really, I basically just use eco and sometimes tower powers if I really need to. Okay, so let's start up with a wizard. So we'll put him here so he can hit as much as possible. Then we'll upgrade him with that and that. So basically the strategy is I'm going to get two wizards, get them both to have lightning abilities, but I will not be buying the monkey sense, which allows them to get camos. Then I'll be dropping the huts, which uh, allows all units in its radius to have improved attack speed, range, and the one upgrade allows them to all be able to see and hit camo balloons. So I will be getting that. That's why I'm not going to be spending money or wasting money on buying monkey sense. Because I can just get that instead. Okay, the other guy got a helicopter already and he's got using that spike thing. Okay, now it's time for my second wizard. Hmm. I don't wanna. Are you saying meow? Yeah, okay, let's place him here. I'm trying to group them up as much as I can because I want uh, all my towers to be within the range of the huts. And as for my eco power, I'll use it after round 10. For now, I'll just send balloons to try boost my money a little bit. Hmm. Perfect. Two lightning wizards. Okay, I sent a massive spam his way. Yeah, no, he's gonna be able to handle it, okay. Well, let me save up my money. I need to get the hut now. Before the camels start coming in. Okay, yeah, this is all easy so far. Perfect. Tower. So, let's put the CR so it influences everything within its range. Okay, monkey beacon that increases attack speed. And then I can further increase the attack speed and also balloon popping ability as well. Let's use one eco boost here. That's sixty dollars in instantly. Kinda just sent in a massive spam there, but whatever. He was able to handle it very easily, okay. So let me not waste any more cash on that. Yeah, and the first camel balloon came through. Unfortunately, I could not defend against it because I do not want to waste money on this because once I upgrade this, it will be able to, anything within his radius will be able to hit camel balloon. So there's no point really wasting cash on this. But I'm telling you guys, the strategy works and I have literally not lost a single game using it so far. Except on that one map where balloons came from two directions and I, I just had no idea what I was doing there, to be honest. Okay, that's my third monkey. Okay, 
Okay, we've got three wizard monkeys now, perfect. And they can all like camos thanks to this guy. Yeah, these camos are easy to deal with, thank god. Let's use more money. $102. Perfect. So we're getting $504 every couple seconds. And at this point, I think you realize why the strategy is so OP. It's because of this guy. Super Monkey. He's absolutely insane. Along with the wizards, he's basically, they can destroy Moabs, everything. And his range is basically the whole map. I should have placed him a bit better though. But it's fine, doesn't really matter, he can still basically hit everywhere. And I think I will add a second one. Just to see if I can try stack the abilities a little bit. So for the second one I will not be buying radar scanner because I don't need it because the first one provides the camo abilities to everything already. Second one is just to get extra... Whoa, that guy sent a... okay. Spent some money on that. But it's fine, I got a ton of extra balloon space and space. Okay, tower boost, tower boost. I am definitely using a tower boost. Just to be safe. And my last eco boost, and that's a ton of cash. There you go. Laser. Okay, and I'm just gonna be shredding through everything now. Because remember, each of my guys, this provides like a 30% boost, I think, to attack speed. Plus, there's two, so that's like a 60% boost to attack speed alone. And I'll get Plasma Blast next. But as you can see, the. Super Monkey is absolutely insane and he's really, really, really strong and overpowered. Okay, round 22. Wizard's doing a good job. And another Super Monkey. Okay, and victory. Well guys, that is the first game. I absolutely destroyed that guy and I will I will show you guys the second game just to prove that I basically win every single time I use the strategy okay guys so we're back and we're gonna be hopping right into the second game and I'll show you guys just how good this strategy really is one of first game and let's win our second one so oh uh, okay skipping map oh this map no oh thank god he skipped it again that map would have been really bad for us. This map is fine. Let's go, let's go. Random. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah, that guy just used up like a ton of energy on all that. But we don't actually have that much energy left either, so it's okay. Okay, cool, you guys saw us. The only problem with this map is the placement of everything i have to be very careful about the way i play stuff because of the limitations for space and stuff especially so yeah okay so this was is gonna be fine we can put this guy like right there or we could You can do that. Okay, perfect. Two wizards. Now we just need to upgrade them and then we can... Actually, I kind of want to... Hmm, I kind of want to spend some money on a spike trap and put it in the back. Just to have that as like a, you know, like a safety net, I guess. I don't want to waste too much money on it, so... Oh, okay, let's just get this first.
Okay, perfect. Oh, we do actually need to get a lightning bolt. Yeah, but okay, yeah, the wizards are doing fine, but I need to get lightning. So we nearly there. Let's just waste some cash. Because I'm an idiot, so I said why not. He's got a very high level uh, engineer, so... I don't think these villains are going to do much. Yeah, there's no point. Okay, perfect. We have lightning. So that will be really good to actually hold back the, uh, the balloons and stuff and lightning is also very good for dealing with the really big uh, the really massive pushes because it really helps to clear okay this guy's going banana farms so he's gonna be getting a ton of extra cash and i need to get my radar scanner ready i guess i'll go with that and Okay, I'm nearly at radar scanner, perfect. Because round 10 or so, and the camel balloon should be coming through. And then when he sees I can't defend against that, then he'll probably start spamming camels against me. Okay, perfect. Now we can drop a spike trap at the back if we want. Kind of want, I really want to do it, so why not? I've never used this before. But what does this do? Bigger stacks generates larger piles of spikes per shot, increases the rate of spike production. It's fine. We're not. We're not gonna, it's just a secondary thing, so we don't really need to bother with that. Oh, we don't have lightning. Okay, we need to get lightning on this guy. Perfect. And it's round thirteen, so let's get that eco boost we need. I mean, I could try send balloons to up my. Uh, money, but it's really just gonna cost me so much more and I'm not really gonna get that much extra because Yeah, plus he'll defend against it extremely easily so Let me just focus on my defense Oh well, I kind of want to get this dragon's breath as well, but oh. I mean, I'm I'm I literally wasted money on that on the thing then. But I mean, I've never had. Let's get one. I've never used this guy before, so... And then for this guy, we'll go with the whirlwind just to it, so we have one of each. And we need to get our super monkey out, actually. Okay, 114. Perfect. And there you go, jungle drums. Okay, there we go, we got whirlwind powers. So this guy, we went with the fire, and this guy went with the whirlwind. Oh, and this guy cannot defend against the metal. Okay, actually, let's, let's send some metal ourselves against him. See how he copes with that. That and the camos are really messing him up. Wait, he also has a super monkey. I was not paying attention to him at all. He's got two super monkeys. Okay, we need to get our own super monkey out, guys. Otherwise, this guy is going to destroy us. Except right now, his super monkeys are not upgraded. And because of that, they can't actually take on the metal balloons, so... Okay, yeah, this guy is so dead. There's no way he survives this. <laughs> yeah, victory. Anyway, guys, um... I just showed you two games if you want, if you want uh, more proof, I can play another game and show you guys. I can make another video using the strategy 
and yeah if you guys want any advice let me know down below in the comment section and if you guys are enjoying this and would like to see me try out other strategies or other game modes or play with you guys let me know i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please do drop a like comment and subscribe to the channel guys it really means a lot to me and don't forget to turn on those post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next video